Now exercise 7.3 given um, first question triangle ABC and triangle DBC are two isosceles triangles on the same base BC. Okay, what they given here on the same base BC. And vector A and D are on the same side of BC. So if AD is extended to intersect BC at P, BC at P, show that triangle ABD congruent to triangle ACD, triangle ABP congruent to triangle ACP, AP bisect angle A as well as angle D. AP is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay. Now first one by one we can solve. So what the given here? Triangle ABC and triangle DPC are isosceles. And AD is extended to intersect BC at P. So first we may come take this one. First one we are going to prove this one. Triangle ABD congruent to triangle ACD. For this we can take two triangles. That is this triangle ABD and then triangle ACD. These two triangles we have to take. From these two triangles, thus AB and AC are given because of isosceles triangle. And then uh, DBC also they given as a one triangle. So that also isosceles. So BD equal to CD. This is also given. And we know that AD is a common for these two triangles. So by SSS congruence, triangle ABD congruence to triangle ACD. Just simply we proved. Then we will go for next question. So next we have to prove that triangle ABP congruent to triangle ACP. So in this also we know that AB equal to AC. Isn't it? That is given because of isosceles triangle. Then next we will take the triangle. Okay. So AB equal to AC. From this congruent ABD equal to ACD when we are proving that congruent. And then what we can take? We can take the opposite sides of the AB and AC. So now AB opposite us. See this AB opposite us ACP. So angle ACP. And then opposite to AC is ABP. Okay. So this is the condition. Angle opposite to equal size R equal so write a full statement okay now one side one angle we got isn't it then what we can take that now we can say that first one we proved a triangle ABD congruent to triangle ACD so in this we can take one angle so all the other angles will be equal now so i will take this bap equal to angle cap because of triangle abd congruent to triangle acd and by cpct we can say that angle bap equal to angle cap Okay, now from this part we can take AP is a common, isn't it? AP equal to AP we can take as a common. So we are getting so many points here. So from this side angle side theorem we can prove or angle side angle theorem also we can prove. So now according to I have written side angle this is the angle and this is the side. So according to this, I will take this angle triangle ABP congruent to triangle ACP by SAS congruent. So end proved. Okay. Question number 1 and 2 proved. We will go for question number 3. So what we have to do for question number 3? So that means third sum. Okay, in the third sum, AP bisects, what we have to prove here? AP bisects AC 
சி ஆங்கிள் ஏ ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் ஆங்கிள் டி வி ஹவ் டு ப்ரூவ் திஸ் ஒன் ஸோ ஏபி பை சிக்ஸ் ஆங்கிள் ஏ ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் ஆங்கிள் டி ஓகே நவ் வாட் வி ஹவ் டு டூ ஸோ சேம் டயக்ராம் வி கேன் டேக் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் திஸ் டயக்ராம் வி கேன் டேக் தட் ஃப்ரம் த அபோவ் ப்ரூவ்டு ஃப்ரம் த செகண்ட் ஒன் வாட் வி ஹவ் ப்ரூவ் ட்ரையாங்கல் ஏபிபி கான்குரன் டு ட்ரையாங்கல் ஏசிபி வி ப்ரூவ்டு இசன்ட் இட் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் பை சிபிசிடி வி கேன் டேக் அண்ட் த ஆங்கிள்ஸ் வில் பி ஈக்குவல் ஸோ ஐ எம் டேக்கிங் நவ் ஆங்கிள் பிஏபி equal to angle C A B by C P C T. So when the angles are equal, so then we can say that angle A line A P bisects angle A. So one thing we proved. Now we have to prove that angle A uh, line A P bisects the angle D also. How will you prove this one? For this we need one point. two triangles we can take bdp and then triangle cdc so in this two triangle what are the triangle what are the sides are equal bd equal to cd so from this triangle from part 1 we proved na from that we can take that by cpct bd equal to cd we got then which is a common one here dp equal to dp is a common one then automatically we can prove that triangle one one angle two sides we have taken so triangle a b p congruent to triangle a c p by which congruent which congruent s a s congruent Uh, from this we can take abp acp equal means we know that bp equal to cp because of cpct corresponding parts of corresponding congruent triangles of kbp equal to cp then we can conclude that triangle bdp congruent to triangle cd ends by cpct bdp equal to angle cd so by cpct okay now what you can conclude your dp by set as well as angle d are same ap by set angle d so we proved ap by sex angle a and ap by sex angle d and proved now fourth one uh fourth one what have to prove ap ap is the perpendicular bisector of bc perpendicular bisector of bc okay how will you prove this one any idea for this one first we can take that bp equal to cp from the two we have already proved now so from that we can take that cp equal to cp so by cpct another part we can take that bpa equal to angle cpa okay both are equal when we are taking the linear part of the angle so bpa plus angle cpa equal to 180 degree because of linear pair okay so now we know that both are equal so i can take instead of cpa now i am going to substitute the bpa equal to 180 degree so 2 times bpa 
equal to 180 degree then angle BPA equal to 180 divided by 2 that is 90 degree so when 90 degree BPA that means perpendicular isn't it perpendicular bisector so we can say that angle BPA is 90 degree so we can say that perpendicular um, then from this we can conclude that AP is a perpendicular bisector of BC. Bisector of BC. Okay. Now first question over.